Hey, I'm Sam from Barn2, and here's a quick video about how to add custom links, buttons, and icons to our WooCommerce product table plugin. You can see here that I've created three examples on this page, and I'll show you how to set up each one of them in this video. In case you're not familiar, product table can transform shop pages on WordPress into a table layout. It can replace your normal shop catalog pages or be added anywhere on your site that you want to list products. If you need a complete startup guide, which includes installation and detailed settings, then please watch this video first. In any case, check the first link in the description below to either purchase the plugin or test out a demo for yourself. The first step is to install and activate WooCommerce product table on your site. You can find the settings page by going to products, product tables, and then clicking on the settings tab. Make sure your license key is entered in this box here and is activated. Then scroll down to the bottom of the settings page and make sure you enable this shortcodes option here. Show shortcodes, HTML, and other formatting in the table. Check that box and then click on save changes. Now, if you're creating a product table for the first time, you can follow the steps in this video here, or you can just use the basic product table shortcode which will work on any page on your site. Now click on the Tables tab to check which tables have already been created for your site. You can see here I have a shop page one, which is showing on the WooCommerce shop page itself. And I'll just preview that now so we can have a look at it. So as in my example, I'm using the summary column, which is a short description for a product as a space for me to add the links, buttons, and icons. You could use a custom field and add it as a column for yourself in case you're using the summary column for something else. So first, let's take a look at how to add a text link. And this one is very simple. Find any product that you want to add the link to, and then go down to either your custom field, or in my case, the short description. Add some text. I've just written text link, for example, and then click on the insert or edit link button and add a link to any page that you want and apply it. Don't forget to update or save your product and it'll show up in your table like this, a clickable link. Now let's take a look at how to add a button. So I'll open and edit this product so we can see how this is done. Scrolling again down to our short description. And here you can see it just says button link. But if I switch to the text, then you can see that I've added a little bit of code. Now this code is unique to my theme that I'm running. I'm running the WooCommerce storefront theme at the moment. And I know that if I add the class equals button, then that will allow me to add a button to the page. And then all I did is I highlighted this text and added the link here, same as before. So just note that the class equals button is some specific code for my theme. And then it's, this is just looking up what the URL is. And this is just what the text is. So you'll have to use whatever method works best for your theme. And you may have to look that up for yourself. So once again, update and save that. Let's go back one more time to the table, and now we'll look at how to add an icon. Sometimes your theme will have default icons. I know for a fact that Elementor does, and a few of the other major themes will as well. You may also have the option to upload your own image as an icon, but that's obviously a little bit more complicated, and it depends on how many different unique icons you need. In my case, I'll be using the free Font Awesome plugin in case you want to follow along. So heading back to our site, I'll open up this product and edit that as well. Scrolling down to the product description. And you can see there's this add font awesome option here. Let's just see what that does for us. This will load up a bunch of different icons that we can use. So let's say we just want to use the camera icon and it'll give us this little short code for the icon. Now I did a little bit of research on this plugin and I found out how to resize an icon because right now at the default sizing, it'll probably not be big enough. All I had to do was add this class equals 
fa-2x for 2 times the size. And if I put 3x, 3 times the size, and so on. Then I highlighted the whole short code and again inserted my link. Click on Update, and let's preview the table for the final time. So that's how you add a text link, a button link, and a clickable icon to the WooCommerce product table plugin. To learn more about how to edit product tables and modify the main plugin settings, check out this video next, or click on this link to try out the plugin for yourself. And of course, thanks for watching.